So let's talk about a Pokemon game that I actually really love, but that never was actually released in North America. This is Pokemon Typing DS, specifically the Japanese version. And owning this in itself is weird because there is an official English version of this game that was released both in the UK and Australia. But not the US or Canada, which is odd. This is a Pokemon spin-off that came out during Generation 5, as you can see from the Zekrom on Restream on, on the box. And it's the only Nintendo DS game to have come with a Bluetooth keyboard. Now I actually did a full video where I reviewed the game itself and went over its history in kind of a documentary-esque form over on the Stuff We Play channel last year. But as there's really not a lot of info about this game on the internet, I figured I'd do a more standard unboxing of it here. So this is the Japanese version of Battle and Get Pokemon Typing, also known as Pokemon Typing DS. And I'm James, welcome to the channel, subscribe and all that stuff, and let's get right into it. So here is Pokemon Typing DS itself. It has this very nice cover with a uh, all these legendaries in the keyboard, we have the top of the box, the back of the box, which I cannot read, and yeah, each side telling that it looks like just a bigger version of your regular standard DS case. Camera, please focus. I bought this on eBay uh, for only 15 CAD from a Japanese seller, which was awesome. And the only damaged part was see this little flap right here? See, it's a little, it's a, there, there, there's supposed to be another little cardboard piece right there that's not there, but that's literally it. So on the note of talking about that side, let's go ahead and open this up. And will we find more cardboard? Wow. So here's the game itself uh, in a standard DS case that tells you how big the, the entire thing is. And if we open up, we have the game itself, uh, a slot for a Game Boy Advance game, which is cool. I always loved how you could do that in DS cases. It made traveling with games, if you had a DS slide anyways, easier. And we actually get all this really weird documentation. Let's see, we have like a health and safety manual, but for the keyboard. Uh, we have some info on other stuff from Gen 5, like the Pokemon TCG and whatnot. Pokemon Smile School. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll look into it and I'll do a video on it if you would so like. And then we have something here on... I don't know. I think this is just general health and safety shenanigans. And yes, here is the manual. The Japanese style manual. And like the other one, it's a fold-out manual, which is interesting. And again, if you want to see me properly play through the game, I have a video linked to that. This is just analyzing what we get in the box. So next up, what we also get is this stand right here, which is similar to the one that came with Kid Icarus Uprising. And this stand actually folds out, uh, and there's a slot in the bottom to put a game cartridge. And then you can actually stand your DS on that which makes typing way easy. Of course, my DS isn't on hand, but yeah, look look at that. But now, I know what the main thing y'all are here for is, so let's go ahead and put that back in here. And this back right here. And now let's open up this flap and get out the official Nintendo-branded Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, like the Apple Magic Keyboard, it runs on two AA batteries. Uh, though I think it actually has a better battery life than the Apple Keyboard. It doesn't feel as good though, but it has some very nice rubber grips. Uh, and it's QWERTY style, which is very cool. I mean, yeah, this is an actual Bluetooth keyboard. And the reason this can work is because even though the DS doesn't have native Bluetooth capabilities, the cartridge for Pokemon typing does. And that's everything in the box. That's Pokemon typing DS in brief. So with that, thanks for watching Master Trainer. I hope you enjoyed this quick look 
take a look at some of our other videos, such as this video I did a while back on my demo version of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team on the Game Boy Advance. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Stay classy, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.